Good evening, Boy State citizens. This is Noah Bod. And I'm Dylan Brock with Mountaineer Media. Yesterday, around 3.40 p.m., the driver of a gray Toyota, Toyota Tacoma was involved in a head-on collision. ALMBS -A jail warden Logan Carpenter witnessed a loud crash in the driver fleeing the scene. Carpenter tried to help the driver in distress after he ran into the woods. He was asked to leave the scene by state troopers. From what the warden experienced, he suspected the driver may be impaired. Passenger Jordan Lofton suggests the driver may have been impaired from the effects of hydrocodone. We will follow the story and bring you more as it becomes available. Uh, we're going to go over and ask one of the witnesses what's happening right now. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you explain a little bit about what is going on right now? Well, it seems that we have a little car wreck going on right now. I'm going to kindly ask you guys to stand back. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Lewis Cottage witnessed a shooting. Graylin Brown has more updates. So here we are at Lewis County Cottage and it seems as though there's been an investigation in the making. The police academy and the fire squad seems to be working on somebody who's collapsed, unconscious. We really don't know, but there seems to be a person that is under arrest sitting down with their hands behind their back, obviously. I don't know if he's cuffed or not. Looks like it, who knows? Will we ever know what happened here? Probably not, because I'm not going to ask him. In some saddening news, the cottage of Gilhoon County lost the life of one of their counselors around 9.50 last night as a fire broke out by the hands of an unknown perpetrator. Witnesses claim in a note found with the papers of the vice president of the bank threatened that someone else should have been VP. West Virginia Medal of Honor recipient Woody Williams spoke at, at an evening assembly last night. Corden Ryder had a conversation with him, getting a better idea of his experiences. So for the very few people here who don't know who you are, could you just tell us a bit about yourself? Well, my name is <clears throat> Herschel Woody Williams. Uh, I live in Ona, West Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, I was born really in Marion County, West Virginia. But I've been in the uh, Huntington area since 1957. Mm -hmm. I started in the Marine Corps in World War II. And uh, finally retired from the Marine Corps as a Chief One Officer Four after 20 years. I spent uh, 33 years working for the what we call Veterans Administration back at that time, which is now the Department of Veterans Affairs, uh, serving my fellow veterans and their families. And uh, on uh, October the 5th of uh, 1945, standing on the White House lawn, uh, President Harry Truman presented to me the highest award that our country awards to individuals for service above self. Thank you, Corden. The Department of Natural Resources has been cracking down on those who have yet to remove their campaign signs. It is considered littering and citations are written for those who fail to comply. Bailey White spoke with a few DNR workers. Okay, so um, what's going on with all this campaigning material? For now, we're taking them back up to headquarters. We're filing them and putting them in evidence lockers, and we're going to soon get a hold of the people and charge them with their misdemeanor of littering. Piece. The, ad, the campaigning ads were supposed to be taken down, and they were still up, so it became littering. So, well, when you yeah, they're first. going to be getting a uh, ticket. Thanks, Bailey. With our governor, Niall Deal, taking the helm of Boy State government, it was a time of reflection for former governor, Carlo Perry. Here is Alex Mazza with an interview. Uh, what was your favorite experience as governor? Oh, man, it's probably a dead tie, actually. My favorite experience as governor was a dead tie between uh, the former review that we had when I was uh, elected and then probably, actually it's a three-way tie, de de between the formal review and when we passed all those bills uh, on Friday last year, and then once when we were about to debate, uh, everybody in my party started changing my name. It was cool. kind of surreal. Um, is there anything you would have done differently during your time as governor? I think I probably would have reached out a little bit more to uh, the opposite party. I tried to reach out a lot, but you know, you can always do better. 
every time. Um, looking forward, what do you hope the new governor will achieve? I hope that he finds responsibility and uh, takes charge of that responsibility and understands that uh, he now is the person that everyone here will look up to and the person that has to make difficult decisions, the person that has to make the right decisions when the time comes. Now we would like to introduce a new segment, Word of the Day. Our field reporter, Graylin Brown, asked numerous Boise State citizens the definition of three unusual words. Let's take a look at their responses. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. We're doing a segment for the news, okay? Listen. What does the word gamberness mean? Gamberness is whenever you have a tumor on your right butt cheek. And it is absolutely gamberness and it hurts insanely bad. That's what gamber means. Sounds right. Sounds right. That's adversive. That's what they Gamberness. Gamberness. Yeah. Exclusive to fact. To gamble? To I gamble. Mean, I mean. Okay guys, right over there. The famous Carlo Perry, ex governor, famous. Oh, let's go. We got three words for you, alright? First word. What does the word gambling mean? I don't know. You suck! Let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna ask you three words and you're gonna tell me the definition of them. Get it wrong, get it wrong, get it right, get it right, alright? So the first word. Oh, I know that one. I know that one. That's a condition where uh, the pansies and panhandle have to have AC. Okay, alright, alright. Do you have any answer to that? No? No, I pretty much agree with that. That's good. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Alright, second word. Gamberness. Uh, that's the definition of how fly the Supreme Court justices look. Okay, alright. Gamberness. Okay, alright. I can see it. Alright, and the third word is matronolagnia. All right, so that's like all the Federalist crime because they're missing their moms. Okay, very well. We're very well put together. All right, so we're going to go back to Carlo Perry, give him another chance. Maybe he got smarter. Let's go. Okay, we decided to give you another chance. Okay. <laughs> the word is matrolagnia. Wedding a duck. No way, no way. It's matronolagnia. Your mom is a duck. Pretty good. Okay. Um, okay, the next, last word, last word. Okay. Colposinquinonia. I believe that's the term for a disease of a fungus of the foot. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Gambling. Gamble. To gamble. Okay, we've gotten that quite a bit. Alright, the third word is matro matronolagnia. Um, motherly something. Motherly something. You actually something got maternal. that. Kind of something maternal. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Grayland. I'm Noah Vaught. And I'm Dylan Brock. Stay classy, Jackson's Mill. Cash rules everything around me.